Um, my name is Eve Edwards. Um, I live in Austin, Texas. I'm fighting out of American Top Team in Coconut Creek, Florida. Um, I just watched the fights when I was younger, you know. Um, saw, saw the first UFC and thought it looked like fun. Started training, found a gym to train, started training. Short-term goals. Short-term goal is always to next to win, is always to win the next fight. You know, um, long-term goals is to get back to the top 155-pound weight class. You know, be the number one guy in the world again. I couldn't say any one individual has been the biggest influence. You know, um, um, I've had inf I've been influenced by guys from the beginning. You know, Bosch Rudin, Pele Lande. You know, um, even now my teammates, my friends. You know, Mike Brown, Luigi Fioravanti. You know, Thiago Alves. Tyron Woodley, these guys, you know, these guys I work out with every day. Um, you know, these guys push me, motivate me. Um, they, you know, they tell me they look up to me for different reasons, and I admire them for different reasons. You know, and they give me, you know, they give me a lot of, a lot of hope, a lot of motiva motivation, and a lot of reason to want more from this game. I think I stay smart in the ring. You know, um, I never get outside myself. Uh, that, and I always come prepared to fight, man. Um, whether you know you're a striker, a wrestler, jujitsu guy, you know I'm there to fight. I'm not there to play a game. I'm there to fight and have a good time doing it. Fighting Kyle Jensen, whatever he wants to do, don't let him do it. <laughs> you know, um, I'm that kind of guy, man. I hear your corner saying, you know, use your right hand. I start moving away. You have to use your left. You know what I mean? I just like to mess with people. But um, my strategy for this fight is, you know, I, I think I have an idea of what he wants to do. He's going to want to take me down and um, try to control me on the ground. Um, that's not an easy task. That's not an easy task for good wrestlers. It's not an easy task for world-class jiu-jitsu guys. So, um, you know, I don't know if he's both of those, but if he is, it's still not going to be easy for him. Um, there's not a whole lot of tape on him out there, you know. I'm sure he's been able to get more tape than me. But um, the tape that I did see, you know, he looked good. He looked tough. He looked like he's a good, solid game. So, um, you know, I just, I just go with the guys that I know are tough and, and this, you know, tough in what he seems to be good at, what he, where his strengths seem to be. So, um, but I, my, my fights are always the same, you know. Um, sprawl and brawl, you know, um, and, and just go out there and be dynamic, and that's what I'm going to do. They can expect an exciting fight, you know. Um, the one thing, the one thing I, I've always prided myself on is I, I, I don't, I, I'm, I don't put on boring fights, you know. I can't win a boring fight, that's for sure. I can't win a fight where you're just holding on to somebody and laying on top of them. Uh, it's not my style. I can't win like that. Um, so I have to be dynamic. I have to go out there and I have to have to make the crowd excited, you know. Um, and I do that simply by fighting the way I fight, you know. It's one of those things, it's like, you don't know what's gonna happen when you get in there. You train, you know, train real hard, you prepare for the worst and hope for the best, but um, in the end, I just know I'm gonna come out with the W. It's all that matters to me, the W.